Hey guys, welcome back. It's Lauren and today we're going to do all of my like body miscellaneous perfume kind of empties for all of 2020. So I have it in this huge bag right here. It's insane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread everything out on the ground and we're going to go through everything. Uh, I do have some numbers for you real quick. So this year we went through 80 products, which last year we went through 88, but a lot of those were more f like mini sizes and we went through like a lot more like full size lotions and stuff like that. But I was definitely very surprised at this number. So we went through $874.27. So I just, I feel like it was going to be more around like 500 to 750. So I was a little shocked to see that number. I didn't think that I could go through that much stuff, but it is what it is. So this is actually going to be the last installment for the four part series. So we had makeup, skincare, we had hair care, and now this um, miscellaneous body category. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little series. I love doing this every year. And I just think it's so interesting to, you know, see all the stuff that you use. So um, if you haven't already, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell. And let's just go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so here's kind of the overview of everything. I'm sorry again, this is video is going up so late. Time got away from me and I just started filming other stuff and this got pushed to the back burner. Anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Okay, we'll start down here. This is just the body washes that I went through. I like to jump around a bunch. So I have one that's like almost done and it's like a big one. So I just like to jump around a lot. The Skin & Co Blue and Capri shower gel. I didn't really care for this. You could definitely smell the like more alpine kind of tree, kind of definitely could be like unisex. So this is nothing that I would repurchase. This is the St. Ives Oatmeal and Shea Butter. I actually liked this one. Um, I wouldn't probably get that smell again. It was just very kind of, you know, normal, calm, everyday type of like oatmeal kind of thing, but it was kind of more, a little bit more hydrating. Um, I loved this one, The this is from Ulta Beauty. This is the watermelon, cucumber, and mint super juice. I liked this one uh, strictly, you know, because of the smell. I love that smell. It is just amazing. So I would definitely repurchase this one. And then this one was probably my favorite out of all of them. It's the H2O Beauty Skin Greens Body Wash. I loved the way this smelled, very just clean and very kind of, I guess, I don't wanna say beachy, but just very kind of clean. I love the way this, you know, kind of like foamed up a little bit, but it was definitely very hydrating. So I will have this on my like cart on, uh, I think on, I got it on Amazon. I think you can get it on Amazon um, as well as their, you know, website, but um, definitely would want to repurchase this in the future. Okay. Then I went through one of the pocket backs from Bath and Body Works. Um, and then I have a lot of perfume samples and like regular fragrances and everything. I did break one of the Victoria's Secret ones. So I put this right here just to kind of remind me. I love pretty much all of the Victoria's Secret perfumes. So any of them are, you know, really good. That's what these four are right here. But we have the Scandalous, Dark Angel, Very Sexy, and Oh So Sexy. I think I have this in as, I have a few of these in like, body mist kind of ones, but I don't remember exactly. I think I have this one and the Scandalous. I love the Scandalous and the Fabulous. I think that's the Fabulous one. I think those two are probably my favorite. Um, and, oh no, Bombshell. Bombshell and Bombshell Nights is my favorite, but those two are good ones. Um, this is Dior Girl or Poison Girl is fine. Most of these are just fine. I'll tell you if they're like anything to that I would repurchase which this one is. This is the Azura Riviera perfume and I absolutely love this. I think it's from Bordeaux. Yeah. Um, this one I did get in a like purse spray because I mean, I'm to the point where I don't need full sizes of everything because I'm never going to go through them because I like to change my scents every single day. So, you know, I did go ahead and just get this purse spray. I love it. It's very clean, almost kind of unisex but um, definitely one I would purchase or smell if you're in store. Gucci Bamboo, not my favorite. Stella by Stella McCartney. I do have this in a full size. It was one of the first like higher end 
perfumes that I ever bought and I absolutely love the packaging. It is like a purple ombre, it is gorgeous, but this isn't really my favorite scent anymore. It's a little bit more mature. So I've kind of put that on the back burner. Uh, and then I have went through a few of these kind of like more men scents and I'll just spray these like when I'm at the house. It's very almost like calming. Like if you're like about to go to bed, um, it's got a lot of them have like more, I wanna say like a eucalyptus-y, but you know that like sexy man scent that is very calming for me. So a lot of times if I'm having trouble sleeping, sometimes I'll spray like a spray of these. <laughs> this is the Prada Carbon Luna Rosa. I think this one was my favorite of the three, or no, this one, was definitely better than this one. This one, so I think I put on here, it smells like a cheap, cheap man. Um, let's see, this is the Calvin Klein Eternity. This one was probably my favorite. It is Paco Rabanne Olympia. I like their, I think Invictus one even better. I have that in like a little mini one. So definitely check those out. Um, check that one and or the Invictus one out next time you're in Sephora or anything. I went through a little mini rollerball of their Versace Bright Crystal. I love this one. Anytime I can get like a 100 point perk or like a 250 point perk of the like mini bottles, I'll go ahead and pick those up. This is the Nest Sunkiss Hibiscus. I actually really liked this one for um, more of a like summertime scent. It was, it's really good. You can definitely smell the hibiscus, but it's got a little bit of a warmth to it. That's really good. I'm debating on if I want to get that one or not, um, but you know, I'm going to hold off for now. And then this one, I absolutely love. I have it in a full size. It's the Elizabeth and James Nirvana bourbon. I have it in, like I said, the full size. I have it in the dry shampoo. It's been discontinued, so I kind of hoard it and I need to like not, I need to actually use it, but I absolutely love that one if you can get your hands on it still. Okay, this one is the Versace Dylan Blue. I really like this one. You can definitely smell a little bit more like, like Granny Smith apples and stuff like that, which is really good. I got that in a little mini one. Oh, this one is another men's one. It's the Chrome Intense. And um, it was just fine. I like the other ones better. This is a Mary Kay Ballara. It's fine. Uh, Machina Toy 2. I really like this one. I bought it in like a little mini one. And I really like it. It's almost like a mix between like, like Granny Smith apples and like a really good smelling like hair conditioner. I don't know. I really like it. You should only try that one out. Let's see, the, already went through that one. The two from Marc Jacobs, the Daisy and the Daisy Love. I definitely prefer the Daisy more. I have it in a full size. This is just a clean, like, pear in rain. I don't think they make it anymore. This is the YSL Mon I have that in a purse spray, love it. And the Black Opium. Um, I have that in a purse spray as well. And a mini. And then I have two of the, I'm not gonna pronounce it right, uh, Sun de Joie something like that. I don't know. Um, those are good, very light, clean scents. And then, okay, talking about these two kind of, these two kind of go hand in hand. So this is the Victor and Ralph Flower Balm, and this one is the Valentino Voice Viva. So I have always loved the uh, Victor and Ralph one for so long, and I've debated on getting a full size of it, but there was always something that was a little bit missing. So I got this one sent to me from Influencer and I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. This smells just like this, but a little bit, I don't wanna say fruity or not quite as floral. And it is the perfect thing that this one was missing. So if you are always liked this and you are wanting to try it or there wasn't something quite right, definitely go ahead and try this one. Or if, even if you just like this one and you want something different, try this one. And then this is a staple as well, the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. I have it in a full size. This is a mini body mist of the Victoria's Secret Noir Tees. Love it. Um, I went through three of these kind of little mini body spray things. I ended up using this just as room spray because it's not my favorite. Um, and they're like so extremely old. I'm pretty sure I got them in high school. This one, oh, I love this one so much. And I almost didn't, see, this is my problem. Now I want this one again and they don't make it. So that's the problem I have with using my fragrances because I never want to like not have them. But this is the Mary Kay Dance to Life perfume. Ugh, love it so much. Uh, this is two from Bath and Body Works, the old packaging, uh, Midnight Pomegranate and the Warm Vanilla Sugar. Um, I just use these as bodies or like room sprays. They're not my favorite. They don't really last that long. 
I only went through one packet of cotton rounds. I'm so proud of myself because this, um, I've definitely, I've gotten my reusable cotton rounds and I only really need these when I like absolutely have to. So love it, um, reusing my, my other ones. I went through two static guards, absolutely love it. Definitely purchase if you can do it through your clothes, your hair, like you would spray it on your brush and then run it through your hair. Um, definitely good for static. Okay, then I went through three kind of like lotion tanning things. I did like it that it didn't have like a terrible, terrible smell to it. Definitely did smell a little bit lighter than some of the other ones. And this is the Vita Liberata Fabulous Gradual Self Tanner. And then this one was more like you put it on and then you wash it off, I think in eight, yeah, eight hours. So I got uh, my legs, you know, use out of this one. Right. This is a Tarte Brazilliance and it wasn't, I wasn't crazy about it. I like my loving tan better. This one I highly recommend. This is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Leg Smooth On Perfect Legs in an Instant. This is basically leg makeup, uh, like it says. Anytime you don't have time for the self tanner to, you know, kick in, this is just a really good, you know, way to, you know, have a little bit of touch of something, but not being like too dark. I love it if you don't mix it with anything because then it won't stay. But if you put it on by itself, then it like does not stay unless you were to get in like, you know, if, unless it would start raining or something like that. But um, really like this. I liked the light color and I, I'm interested in trying the medium. It was just enough so that I didn't, it wasn't like too much, but it was like just enough. So I don't know. I really like it. Um, I still wouldn't put it on with like white clothing, but definitely good for any other time. Okay, I'm super proud of myself for this category. I went through nine lotions and you guys know I am not a lotion person. So this is really good for me. Mostly use these on my arms and just my hands as like hand lotion because I, I do not like to put lotion all over my body. I'm just not one of those people. I luckily do not have that problem, knock on wood, but, um, I, I do, when my skin is getting really itchy, I do like having one of these on hand and I probably will always have one of these or some type of eczema, eczema relief, like gold bond type of things in my collection just because um, it helps with the itchiness and stuff like that. So these are just like the eczema relief and the this is the medicated one, that extra strength. This is a midnight pomegranate from Bath and Body Works. Didn't really care for the scent. Um, this one is like old school, uh, Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Shimmer. Now when they say shimmer, they mean shimmer. Like there is like straight up glitter particles in there. So if that is not you, then do not purchase it. But it was kind of a good throwback to scents that I wore like in high school and stuff. Uh, did not care for the scent of this. Mary Kay Winter Wishes Shimmer Fix body lotion and then this is the Clarins Mo moisture rich body lotion it was good but definitely wouldn't pay Clarins prices for a body lotion um I did like the smell of this I ended up using these both I think as hand creams it's the cake deserted island uh you know body yeah body mousse and the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Um, this was good. I carried this one in my purse for those days that like, if I was out and about and I didn't have anything on my face or I needed something that could go on my face if needed, like then I could put this on there and it wasn't gonna like terribly break me out or anything. But it was good for like a hand lotion and all that kind of stuff. And then this is the Sol de Janeiro uh, Cocoa Cabana Cream. And I didn't like the scent of this, but I wanted to go ahead and use it up. It was in one of my project pans. I think my Supernatural project pan. Um, I think I have one of the newer ones that doesn't smell as much like buttered popcorn. So I would definitely uh, be more interested in that one than that. All right, a couple just nail products. I retired this kind of cuticle cutter because the little thingy broke and this super extremely old beauty control um, top coat. This thing is probably, I, I would guess at least 20 years like old. Um, I mean, it's got teeth marks on it from me, like trying to open it because it was stuck. Like, yeah, it was, it's a, it's an oldie. All right, went through three candles. Um, one of them, I'll go ahead and go through this one. It's the Rue 21 Pink Ice Candle. I'll go ahead and put a picture of it up here. That one I accidentally, I, I could not leave it at the house because it ended up giving me a headache, but I liked the scent. The scent was fine. So I ended up taking that one to work for any time, like, 
a patient had an accident or something, because I work in an animal hospital, we could put it up front and kind of, you know, help that area out, but you didn't have to like have it running all the time. And then these two, I love. I got this one for my friend Lexi, and it is the cedar and sandalwood. I absolutely love the scent of this. It was so good, it burned down good. It did not have good scent throw, so you had to kind of have it like right where you were. But this one is amazing too. It's the sand and fog teak wood. I got this one at TJ Maxx, definitely. I think she got this at TJ Maxx too. Definitely purchase this one. If you want both of them, smell like a sexy man. So if you want something that's going to smell very kind of cologne then I would highly recommend those ones. This one had a good scent throw. It was a two wick candle, but it did burn down pretty good. And I put it on my candle warmer to get the very last bits of it because I loved it so much. All right, for some reason, I only have one deodorant in here, which I know I definitely use more than that. Um, but I have like four or so open at a time because I have them in different locations. So I probably have, well, I know I have one that's pretty much empty, but I'm like, I have it at work and it's probably got a couple more uses left of it, but I used that one majority while I was at work. Um, this one was fine, nothing that I would repurchase. It was a, you know, a decent kind of very clean scent. Um, and then I went through three of my adult vitamin, multivitamin gummies. And so these are about a three month supply because you take two gummies at a time. And so that's like 80 um, days, but you know, almost. And then I had one that like literally finished right at the beginning of the year. So there's that. Really highly recommend these. They're like $10. You can get them at Amazon or on at, you know, Costco. I went through one fiber advanced gummies those were fine and then i went through two kind of like weight loss things nothing really worked so i i would definitely recommend talking to your doctor before you take anything because this one actually messed up i apparently have a green tea sensitivity and i can't this has green tea in it so it really messed up um my liver actually. So uh, definitely talk to your doctor before you start any supplements or anything. And then I went through a Halo Beauty QVC booster, the first one, and then I think I went through six of these, so seven months, um, because I started, I didn't start at the very beginning of the year. Um, I was ride or die for these, but when I was having some of those health problems, I pretty much stopped most of everything and I know my skin has been drier. I don't know if it's due to that or not, but I am would be interested in going back to this because I have a couple months supply left just on hand. I would be interested in going back and seeing if it does, um, you know, if that was, you know, the factor that, you know, helped me with my skin and everything because I definitely thought it did uh, last year. So I, you know, definitely interested in trying it again and seeing, what's up, Charlie? What are you doing? Definitely interested in making sure that I'm still feeling the same way. Um, you do go through like about a two week detox phase where I did break out a little bit more. But um, other than that, then it was good after that. Thing of Q-tips. I went through um, six of these razors, which is about right. I go through about one every during the winter months, about one every month and a half during the summer, about once a, one a month. They come with three. It's the ones with the soap around it. I highly recommend these. Definitely get them on Amazon because you can get 12 of them for $30 instead of getting like one three pack for like 17 or 18 bucks. Um, so definitely get them on Amazon. And then the last category is soaps and went through eight of those. No surprise. Um, we're in the middle of a pandemic, but, uh, you know, I do live, you know, by myself. So this is, I feel like a good amount for, you know, me, just me. Um, this is the dial soap. This was like a green apple one. It was fine. These two are my absolute favorites. Um, this is the, they're both from Bath and Body Works, watermelon lemonade and the, uh, white barn flannel. This one smells like a sexy man. Love it. You're kind of seeing a little bit of a, you know, theme here. <laughs> um, these two are from Ulta. They are very similar to the Bath and Body Works ones and they're similar in price. I think these are like 650 and these are like six bucks but they always go on sale and you can get these like buy one get one free so about three bucks so if i'm ever needing something for an order i'll just throw one of these on you know the thing onto the order um this is a snow drift 
this was fine. It was very kind of clean scent. Pink lemonade was fine. Nothing that I've repurchased though. And then I got these three from TJ Maxx. The Peck Sniff Blossom Peach Blossom with uh, notes of citrus and sweet woods. Um, that one was fine. I have another one that's like a men's one right now and it smells very kind of you know cologne-y um so i like that one better okay and then out of these two this one smelt the best i loved this one i basically bought this one for the packaging and i'm going to pour other stuff in here because i mean look at all those dogs they're so freaking cute um and i'm not even a real i mean i like lavender but uh not a ton anymore but this was fine definitely you could smell more flowery kind of floral scent and then this one i absolutely love the smell of if i found this again i would purchase this one it's cactus flower by pearlescence and this one it was just very clean and it had it does have a little bit of a floral hint to it but it was just and, but it had a little bit of a fruity scent to it too so i don't know i just really recommend this one and these are the big ones these are a half of a liter um like all three of these where the bath and body works ones are about or half that size so anyways so that is it for all of my body and miscellaneous category so now i'm actually going to show you an overview of every single item that i saved makeup skincare hair care and then all of this stuff just in a huge pile because i want to see how much i actually used for the whole entire year okay oh my there's charlie uh oh my gosh this is all of the products that i used in 2020 and i mean this is like stacked i mean it is stacked like i spreaded some more of it out like it is absolutely insane like for reference there's charlie and he is about 60 pounds so i cannot believe i went through all of that stuff um i'm definitely gonna recycle what i can and unfortunately throw away the rest but i just want to kind of show you since i saved everything kind of like what i went through but i mean oh my gosh there's so much stuff in here all right so that was a lot so i hope you guys enjoyed i definitely am surprised every year at how much i actually go through so that's really good because there's a lot of things down here and i'm trying to go through all of like my perfume samples and my mini products and so we're just gonna have like more and more full-size products from now on so that's exciting anyways don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye